In this video, I will be demonstrating the modified fitting process for Revo cycling shoes and Edgetech speed skating shoes. This will include accurate foot tracings, circumference measurements, and some simple photos. All of this can be accomplished with everyday household items that you likely have or have access to. Everything is listed in the video description below. There are two ways to execute this process. One is to trace and measure yourself, and the other is to have a helper doing the traces and measurements for you. Tracing yourself is definitely a little bit more difficult. Because of this, I chose to focus primarily on this method for this particular video, but this video is sufficient for instructing someone to help you as well. Let's start with the foot tracings. Sit in a chair with your feet shoulder width apart and your knees forward over the middle of your toes. We will be tracing one foot at a time. First, we're going to put dots around the foot, making the exact foot profile. We recommend using a carpenter square. These are great because they will stand on their own and allow you to use two hands, especially if you're tracing yourself. Using a device like this will give a much more accurate tracing when compared to just using a pencil against the foot. The thickness of the pencil and the potential to angle the line under or away from the foot is eliminated. You can also use a business card or anything similar with a nice sharp point if a square is not available. Use the square to make marks all around the foot, separated by about a centimeter. You can't make too many, the more the better. get to the toe area, you will need to make some decisions. If your toes tend to spread out with space between them, it is recommended to lightly bring them together with even pressure from each side, and then make the marks. Leaving space between the toes typically will result in a shoe that is too wide. If you have questions about this, please contact us first. Once you complete the dots, do not pick up your foot. Now take the pencil and use the dots as a guide to make a line around the foot, completing the tracing. Once the outline is complete, again, do not pick up the foot. Be sure the other foot is set evenly shoulder width apart, stand up with your knees slightly bent with even pressure on both feet. Mark any lengthwise expansion or contraction of the toes. In most cases, all the toes will lengthen slightly. However, in some cases, there may be no change at all. This tracing is complete. Repeat that process for the other foot. Now let's move on to the three circumference measurements. Start by marking the ball of the foot on either side and then put a dot on top of your foot aligned with those. Next, mark up at the crook of your ankle and then put a mark back on the tip of your heel. Then connect those marks diagonally up the sides of your feet. Now put a mark on top of your midfoot, evenly spaced between the other two marks, and then mark the inside and outside of the foot down low, evenly spaced. Finish adding any marks needed to complete your three lines. As you can see, we're basically sectioning off the foot with three evenly spaced circumference lines, making almost uniform pie slices when looking from the sides. Do not worry if your lines are slightly up or down or off in one direction or the other. The amount of change this will make on the final measurements is very slight and will not affect the shoe volume very much at all. The shoe has some forgiveness, but be as accurate as possible. Next, write A, B, and C on the corresponding tracing. Using the cloth tape, measure the circumference of each section and note it on the tracing. Section A should be the ball of the foot, section B should be the midfoot, and C the ankle heel measurement. Please use metric measurements only. Repeat this process for the other foot. Finally, please include some photos of your feet. Floor level photos from each side and over the top photos are best. The photos are sometimes useful when making decisions during production. They can give us insight into the foot type and the amount of extra tissue or body fat of the feet. 
If you plan to scan and email everything to us, please include centimeter marks along two sides of the tracings as you see here. You do not need to number these marks. We will just compare these marks against a ruler to ensure no distortion was made during the scanning process. If you plan to mail everything, these marks are not necessary. Finally, be sure to fill out the work order as completely as possible. It includes questions that are crucial for shoe production. There is a downloadable work order link in the description below. That's going to be about it for this video. Please reach out to us if you have any questions, and if you have not already, please subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to be notified of any future product videos. Thanks everyone.